Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. First off, to people who haven't seen my channel before, hello there, I do NHL content and that's the only thing I'll be doing for the foreseeable future. I do it consistently so you can expect videos from me. If not every other day, then every couple days. I try to put them out as much as I can. But all things NHL related and also talking about uh, my team in particular because I'm a New York Rangers fan. But I feel I have a strong knowledge for the NHL as a whole and I like to talk about every single team because I'm a fan of every single team in the one way, shape, or form. So today, the topic, Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall obviously has been playing pretty strong with Arizona so far, but there's been some controversy along with him as well. And I noticed the other day, I was watching um, uh, TSN, and I saw them talking about Taylor Hall and what his future could be like with the Arizona Coyotes. And I thought this would be a perfect video because it's really been something that I've been pondering since seeing this and hearing rumors around the NHL as well with, with Taylor Hall possibly being moved again before the trade deadline. Now, obviously that is something that is definitely more of a thought than it is something that will come to fruition, but it is a possibility. And if something were to happen like that, that would really be shocking. So let's figure out how can this be possible and why would it be possible? Well, starting off, Taylor Hall, like I said, has been playing strong for the Arizona Coyotes since being acquired by them not too long ago. In 26 games played this year, he has eight goals, 13 assists for 21 points. He has a plus minus and minus five. So the points have obviously been there. He's doing what is expected of him. Not necessarily a point per game player, but not far off by any means either. And overall this season, he has 46 points in 56 games, splitting time obviously with the New Jersey Devils and the Coyotes up until this point. But what has the Coyotes done during the span of having Taylor Hall? Well, in the 26 games that Taylor Hall has been with the Coyotes, they have a record of 10 wins, 12 losses, and 4 overtime losses. So that's not looking great either considering where they were at before they acquired him because they were doing just fine and they have really been struggling mightily, especially on the goal scoring front. Now, I understand that Arizona did win yesterday against the Capitals 3-1. Huge one for them and was very much needed. And uh, Coyotes currently in 61 games played have 29 wins, 24 losses, 8 overtime losses. That's good for 66 points and is in the second wild card spot currently in the Western Conference. Tied, um, they really could be first, but because of um, games on hand or something of that nature, they are second in the uh, wild card spot. And they are currently three points ahead of the next closest team, which is the Nashville Predators, who are on the outside looking in of the playoffs currently. But Arizona, they've had an interesting season. They've had some really strong parts, whether it be through the goal tenure or the defense, and the offense has continued to lack consistent goal scoring for them on a nightly basis. It just has not been there. That has been a problem for Arizona for multiple years now, same as last season where it looks like they made a strong run, especially towards the end of the season, getting close to playoffs where they just couldn't get there because they didn't have any weapons. Now they bring in guys like Phil Kessel, Taylor Hall, and Alan Kessel has been a shell of what he once was, it seems, this season. You know, it, it seems that not having guys like a Crosby or a Mulkin around him like he had with the Penguins is really changing the game for him with Arizona in a negative way. Um, so Kessel's contract not looking great either, but Hall, what are they going to do with him? Well, Arizona currently, in their last 10 games as well, they have two wins, five losses, and three overtime losses. So like I said, Arizona has not been playing good hockey to date. Even though they won yesterday, things have still been on a downward projection. So what's going to happen going forward? Well, Arizona, as I said, the goal scoring has not been there. And if they continue this trend, they will most likely be on the outside looking in for the playoffs before we know it. I obviously hope that isn't the case. I do like the Coyotes quite a bit. I would love to see them get on a deep run, and I know that there are plenty of young, promising forwards and defenders, especially um, on this team, and they have a strong prospect pool as well, and I know that a lot's come out with controversy with them apparently testing, you know, and evaluating NHL prospects before the combine, and that's a whole dispute. That's something to talk about another day, but overall, Coyotes have done good when it comes to their drafting regardless, and they have plenty of strong players for the future for this Coyotes core group. But if they are on the outside looking in come the deadline, could they move a Taylor Hall? And the question is, if they could move him, what could they get back? Obviously, the goal, if they would move Taylor, is to get 
a better return than what they gave up to the Devils. Now, while when I first saw the trade between them and the Devils, it seemed like they gave up too much, but looking back at it now, the prospects that they gave up for the Devils, you know, they weren't their grade-A prospects by any means. They didn't give up any top-tier prospects. Barrett Hayden is obviously still there with them. Same thing with, um, with uh, Victor Soderstrom, etc. So Arizona has all their key pieces, and if they are on the outside and they feel that they won't be able to make a deep run this year, then it should be in their best interest to try to move him because something's telling me that Hall isn't going to resign with Arizona. And not sure what is, but what I have heard, whether it be from listening to TSN, among other things, is that Hall has been a difficult, difficult guy to play with. And I noticed that really since he first came to the league. He is the reason why I started becoming a fan of the Oilers. I picked him as my Western Conference team as a youngster because... I loved Taylor Holland Jr., and when he got drafted, I was so excited to see him play for the Oilers, and obviously things didn't turn out too great with them considering he got moved, and one of the worst trades of all time, in my opinion. Um, but besides the point, Hall, he has all the talent in the world. He's one of the fastest skaters in the league. He has a good shot. Not a lethal shot, but a very strong one. He's more known for, you know, crashing the net, you know, really making good scoring chances happen, but... It seems like he needs to be in a specific situation for him to thrive his best. Um, being with a team like Arizona, even though he is putting up the points, doesn't seem like he's really caring about the guys around him. I, he's looked sloppy plenty of times. He is a defensive liability. There is no question. And he seems like he would be a perfect fit for a team that is already established where he doesn't need to be that guy. You know, like a, a more of a loaded team where he can be anywhere in their top six and he will thrive. So... Paul, I also don't see him re-signing with um, the Coyotes. So assuming that the Coyotes uh, management thinks the same towards him and they want to move him, they could get a solid return for him, but they have to act fast. That is no question. So we're going to see what happens. But like I said, Arizona, it, they have been up and down this season. They've been dealing with injuries as well. Um, and the goal scoring just has not been there. And you look at how their cap situation is. They only, had a, they only have currently a little bit over $300,000 to work with in cap space for the trade deadline. Not that I would see them going for anyone, but just putting that out there. But that is a big problem when it comes to signing Taylor Hall. Now, they have a couple unrestricted free agents besides Hall that will, should be off the books after this season unless they decide to re-sign a guy like Soderberg. But you have Carl Soderberg and Richardson especially that stand out as their UFAs. And assuming that Arizona does not resign either of them, then that is six mil freed up in cap space. And then you can also throw in um, um, Mike uh, Ribeiro. I, I might be saying his name wrong. Um, he was bought out by Arizona a while back, and this was the last year of them paying him for the buyout. And that will be another basically two mil added to the six mil. And then before you know it, they have eight mil basically that they can work with. So... Is that enough to be able to keep Hall, though? Hall, if he hits the uh, free agency, you can expect him to sign around a seven-year contract, upwards of nine, maybe even 10 mil. It really all depends. If he does hit free agency, he will be unquestionably the biggest winner on the market. While Chris Kreider has been very coveted, Kreider, as fantastic as he is, doesn't have the type of um, scoring on a night-to-night -night basis that Hall has, and that's coming from a Rangers fan. Um, while Kreider is better defensively, Hall is just a hotter commodity for numerous reasons. So the fact that he won a heart is really helping his case as well. But Arizona, they could re-sign him, but it would take some maneuvering. And then we're not including their RFAs that they have to deal with. Whether they keep them or not, though, that is another question. You have guys like Vinny Hennessroza, who's not having a good season by any means. Then you also have um, uh, Christian Fitcher, who only, I believe, has like eight points. And... And you also have um, Aiden Hill, the goaltender. Are they going to keep him? And I believe there's another guy on defense um, that is the RFA as well. But assuming that they don't keep all of them, then they can make something work. But Arizona has bigger problems when it comes to their cap now. They were really they took on um, dead cap space for quite some time, whether it be Marion Hosa, Pavel Datsuk, etc. I, I believe they did it with Pronger as well. Even though they've been doing that, they don't have cap now. And that is huge with being able to keep a guy like Hall and still having strong pieces around him. So in my opinion, will Hall get moved before the deadline? No, but is it a possibility? I really think it is. 
and I stand, stand firm to that because let's say Arizona gets on a run, right? Let's say they make playoffs. Even if they make playoffs with this current core group, how far are they going to go? Let's be realistic here. I understand that Coyotes fans want to see a playoff run. I perfectly understand. I don't blame you guys at all. You know, I don't believe you've been in the playoffs since 2012 when you lost in the um, conference final against the Canes. And I really like that Coyotes team then. But things have changed. And I feel that the Coyotes need to really change things up again once um, after this year. I think that they should try to get rid of that Kessel contract if they can. But that is going to be easier said than done. Then you have other guys on this roster that are aging and you need more guys to work with the youngsters as well, but you need to make sure that you're not overpaying the guys to do so. So we'll see what happens, but currently they have the 22nd ranked offense. So like I said, offense has been a problem. They're only averaging 2.79 goals per game, and they also have the 18th ranked power play at 19.37%. And then you look at the defense. The defense is what's been thriving all season. They are, they are currently ranked in sixth in defense at 2.72 goals against per game and they are sixth in penalty kill at um 83.43 percent so like i said defense not a problem but offense has been when is it going to get to the point where we need to see a lot more out of this offense or do we turn on the coaching rick Tockett, i'm a big fan of his but if the goal scoring doesn't get fixed one way or another what is going to be done about it there are plenty of young guys promising players whether it be Clayton Kel uh, Keller or Schmaltz, you know, who are underperforming. And then you have Barrett Hayden, who seems like he will be a very strong top six uh, player for this Arizona Coyotes offense going forward, but they still need more to work with. And Christian Dvorak, what is his ceiling? You know, that's the real question. And while defensively, um, defensive minded teams are great, but ultimately, they're only going to do so much come playoff time, and that's been evident with any type of team. So Arizona, like I said again, Taylor Hall could be on the move. We will see what happens. This is probably more of a um, guessing game than anything else, but if something like that were to happen, that would be really interesting, and you can expect a video from me if it does happen. But that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, comment for feedback, all that great stuff. If you're a Coyotes fan, let me know what you think. I'm sure you probably don't want to see Hall go, but would you be understanding to it if you knew you could get a stronger return than what you gave up earlier in the season to the New Jersey Devils? So like I said, if you're a fan of Coyotes, fan of any team, and you like this video or want to give feedback if you agree or disagree, please do. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will be, and I will be back in a couple days.